Pope Francis on December 8 proclaimed Year of St. Joseph to mark the 150th anniversary of the Declaration of St. Joseph as patron of Universal Church from 8 December 2020 to 8 December 2021. Holy Father wrote Patris Kode against the backdrop of COVID-19 pandemic, which he says has helped us to see more clearly the importance of ordinary people who, though far from limelight, exercise patience and offer hope every day. They resemble Saint Joseph, the man who goes unnoticed, a daily, discreet, hidden presence who nonetheless played an incomparable role in the history of salvation. Saint Joseph, the spouse of the Virgin Mary. Everything we know about Saint Joseph, the husband of Mary and the foster father of Jesus, comes from the Bible. After the engagement with Mary, Joseph found that she was already pregnant, and being a just man, unwilling to put her to shame, Saint Matthew chapter 1 verse 19, he decided to divorce her quietly, knowing that if he did so publicly, she could be stoned to death. An angel, however, came to Joseph and told him that the child Mary carried was the Son of God and was conceived by the Holy Spirit. So Joseph kept Mary as his wife. Saint Joseph, spouse of the Virgin Mary, is a man of great spirit. He is great in faith, not because he speaks his own words, but above all, because he listens to the words of the living God. He listens in silence, and his heart ceaselessly perseveres in the readiness to accept the truth contained in the word of the living God. There is very little about the life of Joseph in scripture, but still we know that he was the chaste husband of Mary. He was seen from his actions in scripture that Joseph was a compassionate man and obedient to the will of God. He also loved Mary and Jesus and wanted to protect and provide for them. After Jesus' birth in Bethlehem, an angel came to Joseph again, this time to warn him and Mary about King Herod of Judea and the violence he would bring down upon the child. Joseph then fled to Egypt with Mary and Jesus, and the angel appeared again telling Joseph that Herod had died, instructing him to return to the Holy Land. Let us imitate the chaste guardian of virgins. Chaste love requires that one wills the good to another without taking the other to oneself as one's own. Chaste in body and in heart, let us love Jesus above all. What else did he do in all his life but contemplate, study and adore Jesus even in the midst of his daily labors? Behold, therefore, he is a perfect model. He accepted Mary unconditionally and important gesture even today, says Pope Francis. In a world where psychological verbal and physical violence towards women is so evident. But the bridegroom of Mary is also the one who, trusting in the Lord, accepts in his life even the events that he does not understand. Joseph did not look for shortcuts, but confronted reality with open eyes and accepted personal responsibility for it. For this reason, he encourages us to accept and welcome others as they are without any exception. Let's pray together. Hail, Guardian of the Blessed Mary, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted His only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen.